massive week coming up. That's right. And I hate to throw blame about, but it's pretty much all your fault. Again. So, so what's going through Gary's mind when he brings Chris to go back? That's a good question. He seems to always end up in these in these scrapes, doesn't he? Um, but he, he gets wind that um, he gets wind that Phelan's still alive somehow in Wales, and he tracks him down to a caravan park and decides to bring him back to the street for one final hurrah. Yeah. And G Gary is quite a family man. He's a loving guy and he's a good guy at heart. But do you like when the show kind of explores that, that more modern kind of thing? Absolutely, yeah. No, I, I, um, that's kind of why Gary joined the show in the first place. Was a bit, a bit of a he's a bit of a rogue uh, to kind of. To fight with David Platt essentially was, was, was the initial uh, the reason why he came in. So yeah, it's always nice when they kind of bring that edge back, and I get to be a bit a bit darker. That is what I look forward to playing. And we know Gary's got the upper hand at the start of this thing. Which is tied up. Yeah. Like, everything's on Gary's call, but we do know without giving any more away that Phelan does break free. How would Gary feel if, what, if this then led to someone being badly hurt? Yeah, I suppose you know once once and if and if feeling escapes, it's all going to be on his on his shoulders really, because uh, you know he, he was the one that brought him back. So I suppose he's not really thought ahead of the consequences if he doesn't leave him there. Um, and obviously that's you know we'll, we'll have to see if that if that plays out in the week. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, another side to Gary's character, he's welcome to That's right. And uh, what what changes do you think that might, this might make to Gary? Do you really want to step up? Yeah, definitely. You know, I think he's he's looking forward to being a dad. Um, and he feels bad for the. I think there was a, a storyline earlier in the year when he was. He asked Nicola to get rid of it. You know, God forbid. Uh, but he has. He has changed his mind about that now, and I, th I think he wants to redeem himself and step up to the plate a little bit. But it's kind of set on the backdrop of, of him having feeling tied tied up in you know in the cellar. So um, yeah, he's, he's, he's got. That's right, and, and I don't think he, he thought about any of that when he decided to bring him back. So yeah, there's a lot on the line for him. Yeah. That, what's it be like for you to be, um, to be butting heads with uh, Connor and his yeah. team and, and so have the involvement on Yeah, the it's, it's great. Um, when he first came into the show, he kind of came in as uh, you know to work with to work with Owen Armstrong and, and Gary and, and Anna, of course. Um, so it's nice that it's come full circle. You know, it's been a pleasure to work with him. Some of my happiest times on the show were when I was working with him and, and Ian Paulson Davis, who played Owen. We had like a mill. We worked on a mill for about six months together. And that was, uh, you know, some of my happiest times on the show. So yeah, I'm, I'm grateful for that. Yeah. And ahead of these um, 9 p.m. episodes, going across this special week, how, how would you teach the audience without giving too much away? What they can expect? Then? How would you sum up the week? Uh, well, I think the fact that it's going to be on at nine o'clock might, might, uh, you know, give some clues away. But you know, ho hopefully, it's got the drama of, um, of obviously feeling escaping and all this sort of thing it tied, tied in with Robert and Michelle's wedding. So hopefully, there's, a, you know, there's something for everyone, in true Corey style.